Maybe gay money, cause you know you gay and stuff. Oh, I might do some TikTok cringe. Yeah, get some of the cringe brain going and all. <laughs> oh Jesus, not this again! I wanna be the cringiest. Not no one ever was. Talk is the only place. To find what I see, I would travel across the way, finding trends to cringe. Every cringe that I would make would be understand. All right, wait, wait, stop. Huh? Why? Oh, come on. I think I think I don't even need to do this video anymore because you've just cringe made it cringy enough. Just get out. Just go. Take the hat with you. Oh. Oh. Hello everyone, sorry, I forgot you were there. If you can't tell, before we got rudely interrupted, we're looking at some cringe today. And if you know me, I think I'm pretty good at being cringe myself. Mr. Meme is here. So, I hope you guys stick around, I hope you guys enjoy, and I hope you get a few giggles out of this, more than actual getting the cringe out of it, you know? But yeah, I hope you guys stick around. Let's get on with today's cringe, shall we? Lol, why are female female bartenders always written like this? The female bartender in every movie written by a man. Okay. Oh blah 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 blah. If you're gonna be rowdy, go to Julian's bar across the street. Serious, Travis, you're out of here. No shit. <laughs> Jensen Walker, as I live and breathe. I haven't seen you around here since. Oh my god, that is. That yeah, is, if you think about it, like. What'll it be? It was mostly around like mostly like in like around in, like the eighties and nineties. Like they went for that trend of just having that thing with like the bartender if it's a female, they acted so like masculine, like they were boss. You know what I mean? Like in the in anime they do it, they have it like the bartender or like the innkeeper is basically just a badass and it's like what? You had a mustache and I was just a bleach blonde with a bad credit score. The usual. <laughs> Alright, one Harvey Wallbanger coming right up. Thing is, I have actually met, I have actually met in real life, I think I know a few people who, I don't know if they watch my videos, who are bar, who are bar, bar ladies. <laughs> They're like this. So it isn't just in the movies. People are like it too, because you just become really good friends with them. And the men, and I get most movies, they're meant to be someone that the act, like the main character should know something like some backstory that you never hear about. I just said the plot for most bloody cowboy movies, didn't I? <laughs> she tries to catch men staring at her. How? Like, does she like? Oh no, it's not. It's a gym. Well, she's recording herself first, so she knows she knows what she's doing. She knows she wants to show her body off to someone on online. Well, more than one person, I should say. Only fans. This is what I think about that video of that woman. She's recording herself as well, so she wants to be looked at anyways. But she's trying to make it that looks like the man is a pig. They're not even looking. They're not even bothering looking. She's doing that because she knows she's going to get served, like fan service from her only fans. People like that, when they like say, oh, boy, oh, I catch these men men looking at me. You're in a gym. It's a small area. They're doing weights. They're going to look just glimpse ac accidentally. And then you have you just sitting there recording saying, oh, he looked at me. Well, no. He's, where else is he going to look? There might be a female over there. might be a female there. Or there. It's a gym. There's people all around you. You're not alone. And you're recording it. So why do you care? Pay it forward. Pay it forward. Okay. Tim Robinson is a effing genius. Okay. Small fries and your small treat. You know, I'd like to pay for the guy's meal behind me, too. You know, just pay it forward. Oh, wow, that's really nice of you. Yeah, who knows? Maybe I'll catch on. All right, well, you have a great day, sir. Why is this being recorded through, like, a phone and not, like, through his computer screen? You know, computers do have, if you have, um, Nevada, if you have like, Nevada and all that, um, like, most game, game computers or just even computers have, you can press 
record screen, not sit there with your phone like a freaking idiot. Like, like some, I don't know, I don't know what to call you guys, but you're annoying them one. You know, people do that, they sit there with a the phone and they'll just go, oh, this is really good, this is really cool, I could put this on the internet and get some views. Let's record it through my phone, even though it's on my computer. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, he drove round. Hi, can I take your order? 55 burgers, 55 fries, 55 tacos, 55 pies, 55 cokes, 100 tater tacos, 100 pizzas, 100 tenders, 100 meatballs, 100 coffees, 55 wings, 55 steaks, 55 pancakes, 55 pasta, 55 peppers, and 155 steaks. Okay, it, it just went on for too long for me. But yeah, sorry, that, it was just, that made me rage. That actually made me rage. <laughs> just because he was recording, he was, he was recording it for, for a phone. But she's doing it on a computer. Happy Gay Month. Oh, it is Pride Month, yeah. Happy Gay Month, because you know you're gay and stuff. Okay, thank you. He got your Thailand. gay balloon because it's got all the colors because it's gay. Okay. And I got Skittles because it got a rainbow on it. Okay. And I got your cake cake. It's a <gasps> be who you are. Uh, I, for I should love because I've got loads of friends who are, of course, um, lesbian and gay and all that. I shouldn't laugh. <laughs> you could tell they're just taking the mick, but. <laughs> Pretty good because he went all out of it, I guess. Happy gay man, because you know you gay is such a cake. It's a <gasps> be who you are. Uh, but that is, yeah, it may be giggle because it is cringy. My straight friend does stuff like this for me every June. <laughs> Cracks me the fuck up. He is a good friend. Oh my god, that's so funny. My co workers did this to me, but in February, I wish there were African American friends, but happy Black History Month. And they thought it was funny, so they did this. I think we became closer than ever. Wow. That's lucky you, mate, that you were able to get away with that. So tired of companies pushing the woman agency. Let's uh, boycott Walmart because look at this girl trip they're promoting. Let's boycott Walmart because look at this. Girls trip, they're promoting women driving. Not okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, no, no, right, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. Okay, guys, that was today's video. Hope you, hope you had some giggles. Sorry that I lost my, you know, my, my cool. I don't have any. I just, it just triggers me when people do that. I just, it just, it's like, there's so simpler ways of doing it now. And people just still do it like an idiot. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed as well. Subscribe if you're new and check out my weird news. And I'll see you tomorrow.